Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Monet here. It's not Monet he. <laughs> uh hi guys mm, my lips are a little dry hold on hey guys and welcome back to the channel we have a fun video today as you can tell by the title you know we switching up from the weekly vlogs we're doing i don't know what i'm titling this yet but i just want to go into my closet i want to talk about clothes i want to talk about fashion it's something that i'm getting more excited and more into and honestly i don't consider myself like a fashionista i am surprised sometimes by the comments like i feel like fashion is very personal it's very much about your energy and your confidence and what you're wearing. I feel like fashion is changing all the time. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's all about what makes you feel good, what you, you know, it's really all about what makes you feel good and what you feel like the baddest bitch in. Honestly, I feel like I have so many different sides of my style. You know, I got my girly girl. Like I love feeling like a little pretty Zool. You know what I'm saying? A little pretty Zool once in a while. <laughs> I love a good like grungy, don't talk to me like I'm scary I'm intimidating unapproachable like I like that kind of energy like that clothes makes me feel I like a good mature moment I like a good young like childish type like big sneakers baggy jeans there's a lot of things that make me feel it depends on what I want to channel that day. So I feel like fashion is always a journey. Every time you put something on, you you learn something about yourself and your style and it's ever changing. It's not about comparing your closet to mine. It's more about, I just want y'all to peek into my brain, my little fashion brain and like my closet and my pieces and how I got to this point. And I don't know. <laughs> Let's just talk about clothes today. I think I'm gonna do, I'm coming up with this on the spot. Like I definitely could have figured this out beforehand. I'm gonna style myself for like five outfits. And honestly, Deciding on what I'm wearing takes the longest in my getting ready process. My makeup, I know how to do it. I can go through the motions. It's literally automatic. I know how to beat my face. The outfit, that part takes me forever. So I definitely always pick my shit the day before. Whether it's even my workout stuff, like I need to know what class I'm taking, what I wanna wear, pick it the night before because that literally takes me like 10 minutes for no reason. Since you know it's summer of 22, it's summer of 22, we're in the middle of the summer, it's literally July right now. We're gonna dress for like some summer activities. So we'll start with brunch. You know, we love a good brunch moment. So we'll do a brunch outfit, a casual, actually leaving the house casual outfit, which is rare, a rare occasion, honestly, for me. Like either I'm going the fuck out or I'm staying the fuck in. But on the rare occasion, you know, there's an errand I need to run that I need to look presentable for, maybe like the mall. But most of the time I'm looking like a rat. Anyway, anyway, casual outfit. We'll do like a sunset cocktail dinner, like nice, cute dinner with the girls, right? Then we'll do like a late drinks with the girls, like 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Then we can do like a going out look, like a nighttime club vibe. So those are kind of the things that I'm doing. There are other cute things like picnics and like wholesome things like I need to do some more wholesome things. I need to do some more wholesome things in my life right now. But you know, when 122, when it's summer, when it's post-grad summer, we outside. We outside. So that's kind of what's dictating my closet. This long ass intro for no reason. I just wanted to talk to y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for all your recommendations last video. So glad you guys are living the weekly vlogs. We'll be back with one next week. Just a little preface before we actually get into the video. But next weekly vlog, I'm excited. I'm gonna start it after this video basically. And I'm just so excited to hang out with mom and like Gabriel and we're gonna be at the condo, our new real estate property. You know what I'm saying? If y'all are up to date, you know, like mom's tea with her new place. Like I'm so excited to go over there. We're gonna hit Ikea. We're gonna get some stuff for it. I think we're going out tomorrow night or Saturday night with the girls. So it's gonna be a fun little vlog. So I'm excited. I'm so happy. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into my closet. It's rare that I'm buying clothes from Amazon. But when I was doing, I was ordering some accessories the other day and I'll just show you really quick. We're just gonna talk about just shit in my closet in my wardrobe. I got these ones you guys probably saw, already saw on the gram. Period, these come, oh, I got these in a vlog. You guys already saw these in the vlog. Um, I linked these in my Amazon storefront and everything that I'm showing you here, this would be like my little Amazon section, I guess. I also got these ones that I've been wanting to stunt. <laughs> They're a little bit big. A little bit too buggy for me. 
I'm not mad at them though. These are also linked in my Amazon storefront. The glasses that I got Ari for her birthday are in my storefront. So while I was looking for like sunglasses and stuff, I ended up finding this little set. So it's like this white, oh, with like the little Maddie from Euphoria type um, thing. I'm gonna be trying on a bunch of stuff, so let's try this one on. Okay, wait, see? First of all, this skirt is so flattering. I think I got this in a size large. Because Amazon be playing with the sizing, bro. Like the amount of things I've gotten, usually I'm a size medium, but I always size up on Amazon because I just feel like everything always runs small. Okay, so it has two buttons. That's kind of interesting. I'll probably have to wear a cute bra. I really like the skirt though. The skirt makes me look feel so skinny. Okay. <gasps> Wait, this is kind of cute. I like the skirt on its own. I'm just trying this on because I just got this before I start this video. I want to see how it fits. I really like the skirt. It's like really flattering. My stomach looks so flat. Like it, I kind of like the top open. Maybe I'll wear like a cute bra or something. But I also got this denim set. I had my eye on this for a while. It was in my like um, purchase later. I did a big order for my Euphoria look. I don't know if you guys are weekly watchers or you're here just for the fashion tea. But if you guys watch my Euphoria look, I had this in my cart since then. So this is just, let's just try this one on. I'm excited. I really hope this looks good. I really hope this looks good. Let's try this one on. Okay, T, T, T. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but I'm feeling like I look tiny right now. Did the gym just snap? The gym just, all my work in the gym just hit right now. Come through <laughs> for the fashion video. I'm flexing this bod. I'm feeling like a little toned right now. Looks good. I don't know how much I'm loving the quality. I think I'm more, I'm definitely more of a quality girl nowadays. Like I love a good quality piece. And I can tell just like little things like this white peeking through the pocket is sending me, but I'm so shook at how well this fits. This is a size large. See, if I would've got a medium, I would've been popping out the seams. But this is, this is actually so cute. This one I would either wear for, this one I would wear to dinner or even brunch. This, this is a good fit. I feel like this is a good summer fit. And it's like stretchy jean. Okay, I'm linking this. I'm link, don't forget like these are the ones linked in my storefront. And I'm trying to figure out what I'm wearing um, out tomorrow and Saturday. This might be a runner. This might be, an option. I'll also show you really quick. I just ordered this bag on Amazon. I think I might order some more in this style. You can um, detach whichever length you want. So you have a crossbody, or you could do a little arm bag. Like this is a cute little bag. I noticed that like I used to say like, I'm gonna shop once I lose weight. I'm gonna buy clothes once I lose weight. Or like, I noticed my mom would say that sometimes. I saw someone comment that like, you make me wanna buy clothes. But like wait until I lose weight type of thing. But that I've realized like shop for your body. Shop for your body now. Truth is, we're always gonna be shopping. Like we're always going to be buying new clothes for new seasons and like finding things that we like. And we'll only like it for that period of time, honestly. So shop for your body, shop for your size, what it is now, and love it for what it is now. Like you are beautiful. You are deserving of wearing good clothes in your body right now. Like, do not restrict yourself. Do not tell yourself you can't wear this because you look like this. Like, yes, you can. Wear it. Wear what you want to wear. No matter what you look like. No matter how you feel about yourself. Like, you deserve to feel good and wear stuff you want to wear at that moment. That's just my message for today. <laughs> oh, and I was saying that because, like, you know, this is a little Dior knockoff. You know, the iconic expensive Dior beautiful bag. Girl, this was like $20. And like, I was never one to care if it was a fake bag or not. Like, if you look cute, you look cute. No one's gonna tell me I don't look cute because this is $20. You know what I'm saying? So, until I can get the official Dior bag, if I ever want to, why not have the knockoff? You make the rules. You make the rules of your life, period. Those are the new pieces I wanted to try. I'm really liking this, this jean set. Let's actually move over to my closet now. Okay, so welcome back to my closet, guys. The lighting's kind of like, you know how the lighting be, like this. Gabriel walked past my closet the other day and was like, this is a damn shoe store. I have a lot of shoes. I've gotten a lot of shoes. I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity for brands to send me stuff, like gifted. It's very exciting. I don't know, I've never had this many shoes in my life, so it's very fun to style things nowadays. I don't know. I'm just excited and grateful. I do have, I've collected a few shoes. There's never really a good angle for this closet. I need to figure this out. I kinda wanna start like with this rack. This rack is basically all my new stuff that I want to wear, an easy like throw over. It originally was just like jackets for like the winter time, but now that it's summer, 
I love like a staple in my summer closet is like these type of button up just a loose flowy button up this one's from Miss Lola I just washed it and now it's like this like it kind of feels like the robe like my new robe that I just got it feels like a robe material and I'm obsessed with it like after a wash like it got even better like period this one's so soft these are perfect for the beach these are perfect for throwing over a casual outfit like this is a summer motherfucking staple okay so white looks nice Zara has really nice ones this one's a cotton one this one I wore in Cabo this teal is stunning they had like a green they had a pink I'm pretty sure I think they had four colors I think maybe a white one and this material love like these are so good you need these in your summer collection and then also these ones from Zara you guys saw me style this green one for brunch last vlog so, like the silk is absolutely beautiful I'm gonna try to link these ones below for sure because I have chills like this is like one of my favorite things I've ever purchased um, I also got it in blue I'm dying dying to style it I'm dying to style it I think I might wear it this weekend like they're just so beautiful the way they flow in the wind stunners obsessed I also have like this green one I have a brown one I just I just love a good button up throw over I really like layering and that's an easier way that's an easy way to like layer in the summer also it's very good for me because I sweat I like to sweat through things so this is like a good like safety blanket like when I wore this green one I sweat through the tank top bro and it was dark dark and like if I didn't have this, I would like panic. I would have panicked. That's a little sweaty girl hack for me is like having a nice throw over. And they just look so, they just elevate any outfit. Especially if you're wearing like a tiny tank top, like it just takes it to the next level. It just, there's little things to make it look like you know what you're doing. Even if it's like, I was just putting on a button up. Um, I also keep new stuff that I want to wear in the front. I got this from Gab Union's collection from NY & Co. It's like this sparkly, it kind of gives me like, medieval gilded armor kind of like tank top so i want to style this soon oh i just got this from hollister i wanted to try this on i recently collabed with hollister on instagram but they also gifted me some things that i want to try on i hung them up but i didn't get to try them on yet so this is one of them i got this little corset this is perfect this is perfect this is so cute period period in case i also got this one from urban outfitters if you guys saw my daily vlog this is fun a nice ripped it gives me Flintstones. This gives Flintstones. <laughs> Jean jackets, honestly, like as much as I keep them up here, I don't really wear them. Obviously, summer is the time for color. I got this one from White Fox. So funny it looks in the hanger though. <laughs> but you know how these hug the body, bro? I'm so excited to wear this. And you guys know Meshki is like my fave brand. Hey Meshki. Hoping to partner one day because I am such a stan. But they have the most beautiful beautiful summer stuff like their material and their quality is just unmatched and that's so important to me set this is a tank top with like the skirt i have this in black i have this i'm gonna order like every freaking color oh and i also got this top to kind of mix and match with the cobalt blue i got this set in black i wore last vlog my closet still looks pretty good guys from the clean out like you can still fully see the floor um, all my bathing suits and stuff are under there my gym section looks a little bit better I organized it I swapped out my boots and stuff for these heel my new heels my new obsession with heels my sweatsuits I still very much use them even though it's literally mid-july my bag collection and then the bags on the wall over here this is basically what my closet if you guys are new here this is my closet looks like i was just thinking like my future house is gonna have to have like good structured closet because so i'm trying to be organized let's talk heels so heels are something that i had to you have to break your feet in that's really what it is you have to break your feet in on the nars vlog you guys when i went on the nars trip in september that was the first time i really ever wore heels and let me tell you it was like traumatizing but I'm glad I went through it. Um, I survived. My feet literally, I couldn't actually feel my toes for months after. Only recently, like, I've been able to fully regain feeling in my toes. Not even, I'm not even lying. That was a very extreme experience, but heels are not comfortable. It's been, like, eight months of me wearing heels and, like, styling heels. I feel like once you start, like, you can't go back because the proportion is just so good. I just feel like that bitch when I wear heels. I just feel like... The strut just hits different. The energy that heels give me, like, I don't think I could ever go back. 
if I'm ever going out, I'm in heels. I feel like that's just how it is for me. So with that being said, I've been expanding my collection. Steve Madden is like number one in my closet, honestly. Like Steve Madden is like 90% of my shoes. And they're just, they're just a really good brand. They're just a really good brand. I haven't had a chance to wear these ones yet, but I got these baby pink ones. These ones I just recently got. Um, these cream, they're bone, I forget the name. I've also realized that once I wear heels, I need to start like cleaning them. That's something like maintenance in your heels. Like you gotta just take care of them. And also heels come with like extra, good heels come with extra like nubs. So once you like wear them down, you can like swap them out after a while. So I'm gonna start keeping those cause like I would just throw them away cause I didn't really realize the significance of those tiny little things. So just, just little tips that I'm learning. Love a good flip flop heel. Literally will never go out of style for the summer. Like they're so se sexy. A square toe is my fave. I really, really, really love a square toe. Honestly, after my first time wearing these heels, can you guys see that this one is crooked? This one's like bent. I must've like dipped on it or some, but like she is bent and there's no turning back. So that's just something to note with these heels. You gotta be careful, gotta be dainty. And then, I, oh, we opened these last vlogs. So I got my silver. These, I'm, I should have gotten a size, half a size bigger, cause they're made for like narrow feet and I have wide feet. So that's just something to note if you guys are looking to purchase these heels. I got thick ass legs. Like my calves are thick, my feet are wide. Like I'm giving Lilo, you know what I'm saying? Like thick little thing. So those are very dainty heels. <laughs> hey guys, it's like an hour later. <laughs> The bad, I don't know when it cut off, but the camera got too hot. Love this Sony ZV-1, I use it mainly for vlogging. It's really good for like short term clips. So I need to get like a long term, just a camera that's built for like longer longer filming times, like in one sitting. Anyways, we were just talking about heels. These are like the most comfy heels I've ever tried. And they're stunning, stunning. Oh, these are, they do have the names. So these are Annie. These are Annie and Champagne. I usually get a 9.5 in size. Zabrina, Zabrina. But I don't think they have this color anymore online. I tried to find it a thousand times, but I don't think they have it. These are Noel. Yes, they have the name on the bottom. Oh my God, that's what I was saying. I was like, why don't they have the name? These are Fernanda. Okay, from Fernanda. These pink ones are Bradshaw. These black ones, these are literally all Steve Madden. That's so crazy. These are Zell. I like these ones. Oh, basically what I was saying is that the Zabrina ones, these are made for just pictures. These are not made for walking. <laughs> Those are not made for walking. Some of them are just made to stunt. Some of them, you don't always have to walk in your heels, you know? Um, my rule of thumb for bags, like, I don't know. I feel like you realize what kind of bags that you wear after. It's like trial and error. Like, you gotta figure out what your vibe is. I definitely, this is like the most perfect shape and style bag for me. This is the Coach Swinger, I'm pretty sure. It's called a Swinger. But this shape and style and size, absolute perfection. So this is like my, this is the epitome of perfect bags to me. With that being said, like these two are like right there. This Dior bag is absolutely my favorite. And someone just told me the name of it, hold on. Someone was like, I'm obsessed with that Dior bag, like you made me buy it. And I was like, what is the name of it? Cause I got this on eBay and I couldn't find like Dior Columbus street chic bag. She said, there's also Dior Columbus victim bag. So I'm definitely gonna look for some more of these ones. This is literally my favorite, favorite, favorite. It's so stunning, like black and silver with like the Dior detail on it. Like this is literally the blueprint. This is the most stunning bag ever. This one's from Asada Maze. This one was gifted from the Visa She's Next in Fashion program. This is such a good summer bag. This one was thrifted. This is one of my favorite too. I think everyone needs a woven bag and it also has the gold detailing on it, which is like just so my vibe. It says Midas de Miami, I'm pretty sure. Midas of Miami. I tried to find it online, but I couldn't with that name, but that's all it really says on the inside. That's a little bit about my bags. Let's pick a fit. I kind of want to do a casual fit first. I just got these shoes. If you guys watch my vlogs, I just got these shoes. I wanted to style these for a minute. So like we can do these. This will be my casual look, okay? I could do a dress. This is a Steve Madden dress. I just posted this one on Instagram. This is like an open back bodysuit. Really cool, super simple way to just like spice up a fit. This one's from Miss Lola. And then, I mean, I can make it fun and do like a little skirt, but I think realistically, 
I would probably just wear my black cargo pants, right? This. I love a good hat for a casual day. If you really want to step it up, we could do the Dior during the day. Like, she's using my nighttime gem, but I feel like she would look cool with this fit. So this could be like my casual streetwear vibe day. Outfit one, black and white giving Oreo. This top with these pants are, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. It's a little raunchy, little sexy. Obviously you're supposed to wear like a high-waisted thing, so like this isn't showing, but is it that obvious? <laughs> okay, bear with me. I think I might keep these pants instead of the cargos. I know it's not very like shopping appropriate, but this is fun. It's for the wild child, this is for the wild. <gasps> no, this is, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love a good change of plans. Okay, with these shoes, this bag. Ooh, this is fun, this is fun, this is fun. I just like how like wrong this is. This looks like illegal. Like you shouldn't be looking at me because like my whole, everything is out. Whale tail. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I feel like my mom would yell at me. I feel like that's the excitement. Now in terms of the shades, I have a few options I'd wanna wear with this. These clear ones are fire. Plays into the silver. These are from Princess Polly called Clear Water. Then I also have the same ones in blue that will kind of bring in the jean. I like, think I like the clear ones better. I have these ones which are really fun. These are from Amazon. These are linked to my, linked to my storefront. Oh my God, this outfit is cool. <laughs> See, it's all about trying new things. Oh my God, wait. I'm like, I might go out right now and get a flick in this whale tail. And then of course I have these silver ones, but I just popped out on these. So I'm really between these two. I was gonna wear the hat with this outfit, but I feel like shades. Okay, so a little commotion for outfit one, a little commotion for outfit one. Not very um shopping appropriate, but maybe we're shopping with the cool kids. You gotta not worry about what other people think. Just be in your era, whatever that era is, be in it. This, I would definitely add some more chains. I would definitely chain it up. Wait, I forgot, I just got these from Giant Vintage. I didn't get to try these on yet. Let's just try these on really quick. Oh my God. These are so sick. These are so sick. These are so sick. I think I would even do like a clip for my hair. Like a Bella Hadid like clip type thing. Hair. Sure. What do you guys think? Okay, next outfit. Now when I'm putting fits together, I usually base it off of whatever staple piece. I feel like that makes it less stressful and that's kind of like build the building process. You start with either the shoes or the bag for me or if you have like a staple dress that you know you wanna wear or like something like that. Another rule of thumb, I say this all the time, like match your shoes with your bag. That will take you so far in any outfit. So I think for my accessories, this will be the brunch fit. I also love gold. Like a lot of people like silver. Some people don't like belts. Like it's all about personal preference but gold belts are everything to me. So I'm thinking the gold heels, this gold bag, maybe this belt, or I have this chain belt. But for daytime brunch, these give. I can't wait to go on vacay. And I need to be somewhere in the tropics, bro. Stunting this stuff. I love colorful bags. I could take this pink, I could take this orange, green, blue, yellow. And I did wear this with my brunch fit, the green. I love a good dress with like a button up over it. That's so cute. Honestly, I got this set. This is such a brunch set brunch set from Revolve Lovers and Friends. We could definitely play with this and I kind of want to bring jean into it. I'm like, do I do a jean skirt? Okay, I'm gonna bring this into question with these colors. Like, I'm liking the vibe here. I'm liking the vibe here. Brunch, let's try on brunch. You know, a little more modest fit. This is way cuter than I thought it was gonna be on. When I first bought these shorts, I like hated them. But the, the key is you have to wear them with heels. That's like, that's what saves it for me because my legs just look so short. Like with the length of these shorts, it's the way I have to stand all the way in the corner of my room for you to see me. I don't even know if you can see my feet, but this set came with a skirt. But I'm like, I feel like you could just mix up with some shorts. With this bag, like this bag matches perfectly. So cute, so freaking cute. I love this belt with it. Like I feel like this is my brunch vibe. A lot of people were saying without the belt when I tried this on for the green look, but I like it. This belt is from Zara. It's like some leaves. Reminds me of Avatar, it reminds me of like, I don't know. I like the belt though. These are like the perfect daytime shade from Desi, you guys know, the shade 2000. I'm gonna style 2000s, these are like my JLo shades. This look, right, with the gold heels. See, this is cute for brunch. Oh, this is so good with heels. I love these heels. 
take it a whole nother level. I don't feel like strapping them together. This with my hair down and curly and like blown out, so good. Her brunch look, brunch look, don't play with me. Damn, I'm feeling like I look cute right now. Hold on. Cute. While I'm here, I really, really, really wanted to see this with this green top on. So let's just see what it looks like. But this top is from Miss Lola. It's so pretty. I wore this on my birthday post. Like it is definitely birthday status. Like it's so pretty for no reason. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I feel like green is definitely the brunch color. Like if you're getting a brunch, wear green. It just gives life. It gives live, laugh, love. It gives summer. It gives leaves. It gives life. Like green is just such a good brunch color. So you guys like, you like the green better or like the other top? But I feel like a good long sleeve like cropped moment. Very cute for brunch. Okay, so now we're on to like our dinner fit. I feel like dinner you have the most options and variety of what you can wear. I love these cargo skirts that I got. These are from, oh no, these are from Garage. And also shout out to all the girls who tagged me in those cargo jean pants. Like I've gotten a few DMs where it's like, are these the pants you're talking about? And I'm so, the Crypt had a really good pair. I'm definitely gonna order some jean cargo pants soon. But I swore I was coming up with something new, I'm dead. A good leather pant for dinner is always a move. These are from Miss Lola. These are like the best leather pants I've ever tried in my life, honestly. These are, I forget what they're called. I remember them on the website though. But they're like the perfect matte leather. Like I hate a shiny leather. I hate a leather that's doing too much. Like these are so thin. It's kind of like leggings, honestly. Like I, love these they're the perfect chocolate and i also have these heels from miss lola brown and i love to pair these together like the brown heel and the brown leather pants do i take it there right now or do i switch it up because I, I love to take it there i will always take it there <laughs> i also think it's important to be confident and just just to be confident and stand your ground in what makes you feel good and don't think about what other people are gonna think don't worry about what other people are gonna think because I'm sure they're gonna look at your fit and be like, damn, I wish I could wear that. Damn, she looks good. Like, I'm taking notes. Like, you're gonna inspire people more than you're gonna be judged. And if we're being judged, then fuck it. <laughs> like, your style is your style. It's not gonna be her style or their style or whoever's. It's yours. So, that's a big thing. Buy things that make you happy. Why am I struggling with a dinner fit? I could do a dress and like a blazer. Also, I just feel like it's a little too mature for, usually when we go to dinner, we go out. So like, I'm not trying to be in the club <laughs> in a fucking blazer. Okay, I think I am gonna go with the brown. I don't know why brown is just, brown always makes way to dinner for some reason. I ended up wearing this, it's like a muted sky blue with brown. Like this combo is so good. And you know why I think so too? Cause I have this knockoff coach bag. It's just good. And I have this, this is actually a, a real coach bag. I don't know the name of this one, but I thrifted this, you guys, for like $10. It's been stable. I also have this belt. See, my thoughts are match the shirt and the heel. Just have a totally different color shirt and heel. Or do I match like this ashiness of the bag, the ashy brown? I'm like, I do have this shirt. Wait, I feel like this might be on to something. <gasps> Hold on. Okay, I think I'm gonna just did some. Okay, see, that took me about like 20 minutes to figure that one out. Look how these leather pants fit. For some reason, they're just so good. I got a size large, and they only have small, medium, large, which is like, I was nervous. I was like, if they fit, they fit. If not, whatever. But the way that these fit perfectly, I, j I think I just got lucky with these. Honestly, this is my Skims bra. It looks cute underneath it, honestly. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I was gonna just free the nip. I realize I'm pretty bold with my outfits. Like, for some reason when I go out at night with my friends, I feel like no rules apply. Wear what the fuck you want. Let people stare. Yeah, my titties are out. <laughs> what you gonna do about it? I don't know. There's literally nothing you can do about it. It might be repulsive to some people, but that's not my problem. And I understand that some people are modest and would not have their, would not free the nip. And that's okay too. It's important to respect how anyone wants to express themselves, not just speaking for me freeing the nip, just in general. That's how I feel like, it could never be me to like look at someone and judge them and be like, what is that? Like, no babe, like whatever you're doing, whatever you're wearing, 
love it. If that's what makes you feel bomb, like, love it. If that's what you want to wear your hair, like, ew, there's nothing that rubs me more the wrong way when people, they try to confide in me and say something nasty about someone else. Have you guys ever met someone who just, like, goes to you and is just like, oh my god, like, what is that person wearing? Like, what is it? I'm like, you are talking to the wrong person. First of all, you are showing your ass, like, that is not cute. You think you can tell me what you think about that person and it's nasty? Like, you just lost all the points in the world. Like, that is not cute. Like, I don't know. I just hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that energy. Ugly is not physical. Ugly is how you want to treat people. I'm getting, like, triggered right now. And it's hot in my room. <sighs> Let me calm down. Let me calm down. That, like, genuinely triggers me. Like, I hate mean people. Put your energy somewhere else. Why are you worried about what they're wearing and, like, no, I'm getting triggered at this point. Anyway, so moral of the story, do you. Her, Reese's peanut butter cup, her. This is really simple for dinner. Oh, I also, oh yeah, I have this belt. This could be a hit, this could be a miss, but you never know until you try. That's the fun part of styling. Interesting. Maybe I'll turn it around the back, the circle. I don't know how much it works. I'm really not, I'm not horribly mad at it. If you really look at the details, like I'm, kind of snapping it's kind of so on point but also at the same time it's like <laughs> um i think fashion is fun when it's questionable when it makes you think twice maybe it looks better under the bra i don't know i feel like we might be onto something with the belt i don't know if i'm keeping the belt y'all but just for the color tones you know we're onto something this gives like rooftop, this gives like by the waterfront vibes. Okay, so this is my look for dinner. Now let's try on the last one. This is for the night out. I wanna try this top on. I didn't get to try this on yet. I love a good monochrome moment. That always just looks so good. Like the pieces don't even matter. Like it's just the overall cohesiveness is very appealing to the eye. So like just neutrals. I think I might try this with these bone heels on. And maybe like this bone bag. We'll see. Let's see. Her Flintstone rocks. Her, 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 her. Yeah. Miss Flintstone. First of all, what size did I get in the shirt though? This is a medium, you guys. Like, first of all, fucked up my whole laid ass pony trying to get into it. Pop makeup on it here. Got makeup on it on the. What? And the distressness, like, I don't know how much I like how stretched it is. Whatever. I kept the bra on just for the sake of this video, but most of the time, you guys, I am not wearing one. So just picture that without the straps. It looks way better. The skirt, it looks so cute with it. Sometimes the textures of like the belt and like the cargo clashes too much, but I don't really mind it too much. I can't wait to do my hair tomorrow. Cause I've been wearing this ponytail on like a bun all week. I really don't do my hair unless I have, I know I have stuff going on. And I've been in the gym, so I'm like, why would I do my hair and then sweat it out? I used to tie my lace up heels like all the way up my leg like this. And that's still cute. I think it just depends on what you're wearing. So for an outfit that's kind of loud like this, I would tend to keep the tying like closer to my ankle. But if it was like a simple, like no pattern look, like a short dress, I could, I would bring it up. I also like tying my straps like over a pair of jeans too. I feel like that's cool. It's not just an outfit. It's about the hair and the beat and the accessories too. So like, don't give up on an outfit too fast. Give her a moment, let her breathe. How to really sell an outfit is, is your energy in it. Like if you look like you're uncomfortable, why is it getting dark on me like that? See, I'm not really obsessed with this outfit. Okay, let me see where I can take these accessories. As you can tell, I'm very much into mini skirts, textured mini skirts with like a good belt. This one's from Hollister and I'm typically not a dark wash girl, but I feel like she definitely spiced it up a little bit. I didn't get to try these ones on from Giant Vintage. Let's see. Oh shit. Oh shit. These are hella matrix. Hella 90s. Oh my gosh, I probably could find a picture of my parents wearing something like this. Also, I'm not the most confident in shirts like this. Like, it's also about knowing like your body and your shape and what you like on your body. I do not like halter. Never liked halter tops. I feel like it makes my arms look really big. 
but I figured this would give you this could be a fun one to try I think this might be more my fall wardrobe wait then I have these ones Ooh, they're not my favorite on my face they're look it looks like they're so close you know like when you can build your avatar on sims I feel like I like brought the eyes like this close together and they're like right here <laughs> oh wait we'll just do the blue ones to match the blue skirt Purr. and honestly I feel like I can wear this bag now that I have the different skirt so this is cute just a cute little little sum sum this is the aftermath of my room I had fun this video did you guys have fun this video like I'm so happy that this worked out because I was really stressed out on like what video I was gonna do this week I love talking about fashion a little peek into my closet hopefully this video was helpful to any of you guys that are like trying to gain some confidence in your fashion and your style and what you like and hopefully that me sharing what works for me maybe let you know what works for you or what doesn't work for you um what was your favorite outfit there's a bug like crawling by window. I keep looking at it. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't want to kill you, but like, how are you getting out of here alive? Anyways, <laughs> what kind of similarities do we have in our closet? Like, what did I say that you're like, yeah, 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 me too, me too, me too. So next week, we'll be back with another weekly vlog. Don't worry, don't sweat it. If you're new here or you're a vet here, let me know down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.